Hey guys, Rubik Snap here, and by now you should know what this video is all about, and my background doesn't lie, so let's get into it. I know that there are already some videos about this, and I watched most of them, but they are like one year old or more, when I just became mainstream. And nowadays, engines are just becoming better and better every day, it's crazy. So I just wanted to do my take on it, and take advantage of the updated capacities that these LLMs nowadays have. So, starting with the simplest question, can you solve a Rubik's Cube? And it said yes, so that's promising, and even talked about some methods like CFOP or layer by layer. And I chose CFOP and it went ahead and explained me step by step how to solve the cube. First starting with the cross, then F2L, then OLL and PLL. Alright, next step, if I give you a scramble, can you give me a solution? Once again it said yes and even gave me a scramble as an example. And even better than me providing a scramble, I told it to search the web for one. And for this I activated the search uh, option. And it just returned the scramble that it found, in this case from ruix.com, and even refers to the web source where it got it from. And then I went ahead and applied that scramble to my cube, so I was following the process all along with the cube to see where we were going and next I went ahead and distracted it to use that scramble and return me the full list of moves that would solve it. And here's where things just started going sideways, it didn't provide any solution at all, it just returned some common moves for each step. Then I enabled the reasoning option and I asked it to reason a real solution. And what it returned was just the reverse scramble, which is reverting all moves and get back to a solved cube. So at this point I activated the search and reason options and asked it to try to use a simulator to figure out a solution. And it found one, explained me how it did it step by step and returned me a solution. So I just tried that on my cube and the result was... Well, see for yourself. Then I told it that solution was wrong and to try it again. And it returned a different solution and I tried that as well. And once again, it didn't work. So I went ahead and searched online for the simulator it said it was using. Just to make sure that the problem was not the simulator. So I applied the scramble there, it got me a solution and I used that solution and it worked. Which is proof that the problem isn't a simulator, just a model being dumb somehow. And here I just thought, ok, let's just start again. And so I asked it for a new scramble, which resulted in this. And then I tried talking to it like it was a baby and I explained step by step to provide the full context, which could be what was missing. And I explained how the cube should be positioned when being scrambled just to make sure it's got the full understanding on how to do it. And instead of asking for the full solution, let's go baby steps and I just asked it for the white cross solution, which is CFOP's first step. Ok, here's an algorithm, I applied that algorithm and you guessed it right, no white cross. So time for even more baby steps, let's start not with the white cross, but the daisy, which is the very first step of the beginner's method. And with the reason option active, it's amazing to see it explain what it's doing and what it's thinking, so that's really cool. So it confirms that it's simulating the scramble by itself, with white on top and green on front and understands that uh, DAISY has to do with the white edges and for each one of the edges it explains what was the original position and which move it did to get it solved. And it immediately fails on the first edge. I didn't even need to try it, I immediately saw that doing an F move, then a U move and an F prime didn't solve the edge that was on the green face. So let's try again and this time I even explained it to try keeping track of the moves it's doing and what would be the impact on the other pieces. And it's able to understand that the white green edge is on the front layer with white facing the front, which amazingly is correct. But then it says that doing an F move takes it to the top layer, which is annoyingly wrong. So I went full on teacher mode and explained it as detailed as possible what it had to do. 
and it returned a different solution for the white green edge and once again it didn't do anything that was supposed to do. And I desperately just tried once again and once again he didn't do anything, it was better, at least it was on the right layer but not facing the right way. And here I just hit the daily limit for reasoning on the free plan, which was really disappointing. And here I just got tired and gave up. But I still had something that I wanted to try, so I started a new session from scratch. And here my idea was, ok, if I give you pictures with all 6 sides of the cube scrambled, can you understand those pictures and try to use them to solve it? And not surprisingly, it doesn't ever say no, so I just provided it two images and answered it just to use any method that works fine. And here, although I've hit the daily limit for reasoning, it just explains everything it's doing and even shows the code that it's producing to interpret the images, which is really cool. But once again, it had some trouble to understand it, it didn't really see six sides on the cube, so I had to force that information, and it said I was right, but still didn't get to fetch the correct information from the images. And here I just said, okay, forget it, can you use those images and generate two images based on those ones, just to try to understand what it was seeing on those pictures? And it went ahead and generated those images using DALI, which I had enabled on my ChatGPT customization. And guess what? It generated really cool images, but which didn't at all represent the pictures that I gave it and weren't even possible because those cubes in those conditions are not possible. As a disclaimer, for this video I'm using the free version of ChatGPT, which is used OpenAI's GPT-40 mini model. So results could possibly vary if I use the paid version with more capable models and more functionalities. So conclusion, unfortunately AI, at least for me, wasn't smart enough to solve a Rubik's Cube. And I think it is undoubtedly awesome and can help us a lot in many tasks, for example the title and thumbnail of this video were AI generated, but it still isn't smart enough to solve a cube, so it's just dumb. Ok guys, so that was it for this video, hope you liked it. Let me know in the comments if you were ever able to solve a cube using AI. i see you in the next one, bye bye.